Hey guys, I'm Steph and welcome to my beauty stash. Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for watching another one of my videos. You know the drill guys. Before we begin, make sure you click on that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you never miss one of my video uploads. It's BoxyCharm time guys. I just received my March premium BoxyCharm and this is the beloved Fenty Beauty Box. I love using Fenty products. I think Rihanna has done such an outstanding, amazing job with her brand. Um, you can really tell that she is very involved in this brand. She's just not one of those celebrities that says, well, I have a lot of money. Let me just create some makeup. No, she takes it to the next level. Go to the Sephora website and check out all of the Fenty Beauty products. Go to the Fenty Beauty website. You're going to see that there is something there for everyone, for every skin type, for every skin undertone, for every shade. Guys, Rihanna has really done an outstanding job of paying attention to everyone's skin tones because there are not a lot of makeup companies out there that have 50 shades of foundation, that have 40 shades of concealer. She has it and she has done an amazing, amazing job of being such an all-inclusive brand and that is one of the main things that I love about Fenty Beauty. Now, what's BoxyCharm? Well, in case you guys don't know, BoxyCharm is a monthly beauty box subscription service where you can try four to five full-size products delivered right to your door for $25 a month. A few months ago, BoxyCharm unveiled their Boxy Premium subscription beauty box service. For $35 a month, you can upgrade your box and you can get six to eight full-size products, I believe. And all of the products included, guys, are name brand, high quality makeup products or skincare products. Um, this month was my first time to actually receive a Boxy Premium. I've always subscribed to the Base Box and I've always subscribed to Boxy Lux. So for the month of March, I decided to upgrade my Base Box to the Premium Box. And I am so glad I did because it is a box full of Fenty Beauty products. And these were some of the products that I did not have in my collection. The only thing I had in my collection was the highlighter, which I will get into that in a second but everything that came in my boxy premium for March is all new to me so let's dive into this box and let's see what all I got because I think there were some different variations it was all Fenty products but there were different variations in the products that you could receive so um, one of the things that I know everybody got was the Moroccan Spice eyeshadow palette. I did not have this in my collection it's something I've been wanting to get and then I don't know, something else would come up and I was just never able to get it. But look at the packaging on this. This is absolutely beautiful. You even have the shade names on the back. And let me show you what this beauty looks like. You do get a full size mirror and there are your gorgeous shades, lots of neutrals in there, cool and warm tones. You got that fun pop of blue and you got some nice shimmer shades down there at the bottom. Really, really happy, excited to be playing around with this Moroccan Spice eyeshadow palette. Another thing I received is the Invisimat. These are the blotting papers. Now, me being normal to oily skin, I do reach for a blotting tissue from time to time. And this is so cute. The little packaging on this, it's very small, very compact, easy to throw in your purse, in your pocket. You do get a little mirror here. Don't mind all of the fingerprints. And and um, right inside you have the little blotting tissue and you can just roll it out like that however much you think you need there's some little teeth right there so just press down and then you can tear off your blotting tissue and blot as needed. The next item I received is the Gloss Balm. Love Fenty Beauty lip glosses. This one is in the shade Diamond Milk. I do not have the shade. I have the shade in the Freestyle Highlighter, but I don't have it in the Gloss Balm. So I'm really, really happy that I received this one in this month's Premium Boxy Charm. This is just your basic clear lip gloss, 
but this goes on, it does have a little shimmer to it as well. This goes on so, so nicely, guys. It doesn't get that clumpy, sticky feeling that some lip glosses can get. It's just a well thought out, a well made lip gloss. I know it might seem a little crazy to spend like 18, 20 bucks on a lip gloss, but trust me, it works and it's well worth the price. The next item I received is a product I hadn't tried before, and this is the Fenty Matchstick, and they sent me the shade Chili Mango. So this looks like it is the color of my nails, which I love. I'm looking for that fun pop-up color right now because I'm ready for spring, I'm ready for summer. This is what the Matchstick looks like. Now, they do say, part of the instructions say to warm this product up on the back of your hand and then go in and start applying it. The way I'm thinking I'm going to be using this product is applying it like I did right now to the back of my hand and then just picking some up with my finger and dabbing it on the areas of my face where I'm going to place it. I also think that a stipple brush is going to be best suited for this product, especially when you're working with a color that's this intense on such fair skin tone like mine. I really don't want to go in heavy handed. So I think those two methods are going to be the best for for um, my skin and what we're gonna be doing today. Another product that I received is a product I don't have yet. This is the Mademoiselle Matte Lipstick and this is in the shade PMS. You can see what that looks like. It is on my lips right now. But this is what the bullet looks like and of course, there's your shade in there. So this is gonna be a really fun color for me to wear. As you can see, it really stands out against my pale, pale skin. I cannot wait to pick up a little bit of a tan. The last product that is in my premium BoxyCharm is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in the shade Trophy Wife. Now, I'm not gonna open this because I am planning to gift this to one of my friends who has been wanting to try it so I'm gonna actually, this is the only product that I have um, currently in my collection. So I'm gonna be working off of my product today, um, so I won't open that one and use it, but it's the exact same thing. This is the shade Trophy Wife in the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter from Fenty Beauty. You do get a full-size mirror on it, and I just love this white packaging. It's really sleek, really pretty. Um, again, Rihanna pays attention to all the details. This is stunning, and you can see I am wearing it right now. Um, go in light-handed with this, especially if you have more light to fair skin tones the way I do. If you have a deep skin tone, a dark skin tone, oh my God, like this is going to be amazing on your skin. But for somebody like me, I have to take it down a few notches. But guys, you can place this anywhere you want on your body, anywhere you want that beautiful golden glow. This freestyle highlighter is so, so pretty. So let's dive into all of the Fenty Beauty products that I received in my March Premium BoxyCharm. If you wanna see how I got this look right here, keep on watching. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm going to apply that directly into my crease. I also wanna mention that I've already primed my eyelids with the e.l.f. Eye Putty Primer and I will leave um, which shade I'm wearing in that, ooh, that's pigmented, uh, down below so that you guys can reference that. This is my first time trying any of Fenty Beauty eyeshadow. Um, I've been wanting this palette for a while but I just feel, felt like maybe I had the shades already in my collection. Um, so that's why I never bought it. And actually Sephora put it on sale, I wanna say it was around the holidays. And I had it in my cart and then I just never pulled the trigger. So um, when I saw that this was gonna be an option for BoxyCharm, I had never tried the premium boxes before. I would only get the base box and um, Boxy Luxe. So I canceled my boxy looks actually for the month of March and um, I decided just to get this premium box. Wow, so this is a very pigmented eyeshadow but it's blending out really, really well. 
So now I'm going to deepen up my crease a little bit and I'm going to go in with this dark brown shade right here. The names are actually on the back of the palette, but I'm reading it upside down so it's just easier for me to point. I'm just going to focus that out here. Okay, I'm going to wipe off my brush a little bit. I'm actually going to pick up another brush just to kind of blend it out a little bit easier. It's going to be a very simple, easy to recreate eye look. I think all of the eye looks I create are easy for you guys to create. Um, I'm not a makeup artist by any, any means. I will never claim to be one. And um, I just like playing with the makeup and seeing what works. Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I don't. But the good thing is it washes off at the end of the day and I get to start up fresh, you know, the next day and stuff. So. No, no right or wrong way, guys, to really apply makeup, just as long as you're happy with how it looks. I mean, really, that's all that matters. All right, so I'm going to leave it like that. Now I'm going to put the palette down and I'm going to jump into the matchstick. So the directions do say to warm this up on the back of your hand. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of warming it up like that. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that product, get it on my finger, and then I'm going to apply it directly to the eyelid. Now these are more intended, actually they're intended to be used all over the face, but I think they're mainly intended to be used on the cheeks. And I'm going to, I'm actually going to try using a little bit on my cheeks. Um, I'm going to go in with a stipple brush. And I'm also going to bring that up a little bit into the crease and I'm going to use a brush now to kind of do that. That was very, very easy to use, very easy to apply. Now I'm going to go back in to the Moroccan Spice eyeshadow palette and I'm going to go back in with the same shade that I used in my crease and I'm going to run that along my lower lash line. Now I'm going to pick up that dark brown shade that I used a while ago for the crease and I'm going to get, um, let's see, what brush? I want to get like a little eyeliner brush, kind of angled like that. I'm going to use that as an eyeliner for that lower lash line. Now I'm just going to go back and blend over everything that I've done. There's nothing on this brush, just whatever leftover product I had from that initial eyeshadow. Okay, I'm gonna go back and add a little bit more of the dark brown. Now I'm gonna dive into the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in the shade Trophy Wife. And we're gonna place some of that um, on the inner corner of the eyes. And I'm gonna spray my brush. You can use water, you can use setting spray, facial spray. This is such an intense, intense highlighter, guys. I'm just focusing it right there on the inner corner. Now I'm gonna pick up some more of the matchstick that's on the back of my hand. I kinda feel like this shade right here, that darker brown shade is throwing me off a little bit. I'm not too sure that I should have applied that shade there, but that's okay. It's already on. We're going to have to work with it. So let me take care of my other eye off camera, and then I'll be back to place some of this Trophy Wife on my cheeks and to use the other products that I got in my March Premium Boxy Charm. All right, guys, so I added some mascara, some eyeliner, and I finished up my other eye. What do you guys think? I think working with the shadows was really easy. Um, it's a nice neutral palette. I love the packaging on it. Really, really sturdy packaging. This would be a good one to travel with because you pretty much have all the shades that you need in here. And then you have those, of course, little fun pops of color. So I really did enjoy using the Moroccan Spice Eyeshadow Palette by Fenty Beauty. Um, I liked using the matchstick. I thought the matchstick was really cute. Um, we're going to try adding this now to the cheeks. Um, like I said earlier, I don't really like to do this after I've already applied um, like all of my face products including powder but I just want to test it out so look I still have some of the product on the back of my hand I'm gonna add just a little bit more to it and I'm gonna take a little stipple brush like this I'm just gonna pick up 
a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm gonna apply it more so to um, the higher points of my cheek, you know, like just right in here. The good thing with using a stipple brush is it doesn't apply too much product. Now keep in mind, I already had some blush on there. This is just enhancing it, really giving it that nice shine, that glow. All right, so you can really see the added glow to my cheekbones and now just wait until I add trophy wipe to them. Wow, <laughs> that's gonna be a really, really intense highlight and I'm all for it. So let me pick up a little bit on my brush. You don't need a lot of this guys, trust me. And I'm gonna focus it mainly up here. That is so shiny, so pretty guys. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my cupid's bow. That's amazing, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. You can use this, like I just used on my eyes, I used it on my cheeks, pretty much, you know, all over your face. You can use it on your neck, on your arms. This is just an amazing, really pretty highlighter. Um, The next thing that we need to use is I have a lipstick and I have the uh, gloss balm. I'm glad that the gloss balm is the um, diamond milk one, more like the clear with just a little bit of sparkle in it because this is completely, completely universal. You can put this on with pretty much any lip that you're going to wear. Um, the lipstick that they did send me, again, it's on the darker side of lipsticks and this one is in the shade PMS. So I don't know how it would look with this uh, eye look, but we're gonna try it out anyway. Now, let me do a little bit of diamond milk, which is the gloss balm over that, but I'm gonna apply this with my finger. So I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand because I don't wanna get the applicator dirty. All right guys, so this is a completed look using all of the Fenty Beauty products that I received. What did you guys think? Let's add up the total cost of this box because I paid $35 for it, but it retails for much more than that. The Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter retails for $36. The Matchstick Shimmer Stick retails for $25. The Moroccan Spice Eyeshadow Palette retails for $29. Actually, that is a sale price for it right now. Um, the Gloss Balm Universal Lip Luminizer retails for $19. The Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipstick retails for $18. And the Avizimat Blotting Paper retails for $16. With a grand total of this month's premium BoxyCharm being worth $143. I paid $35. We just did the math. What a savings. Once again, guys, if you are unfamiliar with BoxyCharm and how it works, I will leave the link in the description box down below so you guys can be sure to head on over to the BoxyCharm website and check it out. I am rarely ever disappointed with any box that I've received from BoxyCharm. I've been subscribing to BoxyCharm for about two years now and I absolutely love it. It is the one beauty subscription box that I cannot live without, that I never think to cancel, that I'm going to continue getting for as long as I can afford to continue getting it. Um, I'm so happy that Fenty partnered up with Beauty Box for the premium box this month. Again, this was my first premium box. I've always been used to just getting the base box and uh, the boxy Lux every uh, three months whenever they do put that one out. So really happy to try some products that I hadn't tried before. What did you guys think of today's video? If you enjoyed it guys, you know, give me a thumbs up. That helps me out so much. Leave me a comment down below. What was your favorite? What was your least favorite? What do you recommend? What did you like? Leave it all in the comments down below. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching today's video. You guys have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, drink your water, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.